What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Warehouse Series, and welcome to Discord Friday. If you're new, thank you for being here. Uh, before we get to today's video, I just wanted to address something. Uh, you know, underneath the comment section of my videos, every once in a blue moon, I get someone that says, "I, you know, you got to be an idiot if you can't build a pallet. I, you know, building pallets are so easy." You know, things of that nature. And I just want you to know that I just wanted to address this. Now, I like the comment because for certain people, certain people get it. It just clicks for certain people, okay? I didn't realize I had a system until I started this YouTube channel. So, and learning how to teach it took me a little while, but, you know, and that's what I do here. So, I don't want people that, you know, are brand new to selecting, they've been selected for three months, they can't build a pallet, and then they see a comment like that and get discouraged, like, oh, God, I'm never going to get this. I'm going to tell you right now, and I am not exaggerating, probably around 90% of the people that select at my building suck they cannot build a pallet worth shit they might make their times but they can't build a pallet and guys i'm talking about people that have been there 10 15 20 years they still can't build a pallet but they make their times okay and that is just throwing to throw so there is a way to do this there is a system to do this and the last set of pictures that i show you on today's video is the system that i teach on this channel so let's get to today's video. But before that, guys, if you are not a member of that Discord, join by clicking that description and I read the uh, link in the description below. Please subscribe to my channel. It's growing and I want to keep growing it. The more subscribers, the more algorithms, all that stuff, the better off my channel is going to be. And if you guys would give me a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. All right, guys. So the first set of uh, pictures that we're going to be looking at are some of my pictures. Now, I posted this on Discord. And I just wanted to go over it real quick because it's the same stuff all the time, guys. If you look at my dog food palettes, I, well, they call these chem pets because you start off with uh, laundry detergent uh, and then you throw the uh, pet supplies on top of it. Uh, you know, but keeping the slender items in the middle, this sugar right here, every single time I get this sugar, guys, we only usually get one if, we're, if we get two sometimes, but right here in the middle, uh, you know, I like my cases pointing inwards when I have one of something pointing in, similar cases, I point back, uh, you know, I got, so this is one package here and I just formed two cases to, to be level with this package again. Now in this area right here, you can see this bags on an angle, at the end of our 52 hour, we start getting smaller bags. Well, I had a small square here, all right? And I'm not rushing to put like a dog food bag from this to here, from a high to a low. I know bags, guys, bakery bags, dog food bag, cat food, litter, are the only things that you could tie a case in from a high to a low when your inside is higher and your outside is lower because you could always get level with bags just by shaking the contents around. But with the stiffer bags, it's not that easy to do. So what I was doing, so I had this actually was all the way up to here and my corner was empty, but I was waiting patiently for the end of the aisle to get the smaller bags so I could form my corner. It's all about waiting and knowing your warehouse and knowing what's coming up. And that's what I did for that corner. I waited patiently and I was able to complete that corner. A lot of people would just start forcing cases in that corner because they are layer stackers. All right, guys, I just want to show you there you go. I don't like putting cases on their sides, but I do from time to time, uh, especially in this part of the warehouse. Uh, they reslotted our warehouse and things are a lot different over there. Uh, and, you know, you get a ton of big, awkward cases. Well, I had these two juices uh, stacked up and I needed something to help fill in this gap. And I knew probably not for another five hours I was not going to get small cases. So I had to do something to make sure there was no shifting between these two uh, cases here. So I stuck a can of cans in there. Now guys, I would never ever put glass on its side or any type of uh, liquid. It, it doesn't matter what it is, uh, mustard, you know, ketchup, stuff like that. I would never put that stuff on its side, only cans if I can help it. All right, guys, this is also my order right here too. And you know, the goal of every pallet is to tie in cases. So this coming into the middle, you know, I preach that all day long. That is what I like to do. I like having cases come into the middle. But like I told you last week, I hate little shelves. You know, I hate shelves where I know I'm not gonna fit something. So there's cans that I showed you last week. I slid that case out to give me enough room to put another can beside it. Well, this here, I have all big cases coming. So what the heck am I going to stick here? If I leave this case like this, it is not going to be a good result. So I switched it around with the next case I got. And the reason why this case is on the inside is because this case is higher. 
Guys, even though it's minute, I promise you when you're this low on the pallet, you do not want a lower corner and a higher inside. So this case is on the outside, even though this case is a little longer, it's only because his V8 is a little higher. But guys, don't be afraid to keep going in the same direction. I eliminated my little shelf right there. I don't have to worry about it. So when I'm in this part of the warehouse, I'm getting all these mixtures of stuff. I usually call them stack probably until about weights high, and then I start tying in. You almost get forced to call them stack because like you saw in the previous picture, if you start trying to tie in, you're giving yourself all this little stuff. And that is why when people select this part of the warehouse, they have cases leaning all over the place because they just don't put a thought process into it. They just immediately think I got to tie in. So I just wanted to show this. All right, guys, this is that same order. And not, you know, so I just wanted to show you guys what do I say now, way back when, when I said, I like a strong front and a strong back, but more than anything, I want that strong back. I had the opportunity to get a nice solid thing here. Now, this is where people walk their cases. So I had this front part right here and all these broths came. I guarantee people would have them all up in here, stacked up, and then they would have small cases on the back. I immediately think if I'm getting a lot of broth, I immediately think that's the perfect back for me. I'm gonna keep my back nice and solid. I, I leave the middle of my pallet for smaller cases, guys. Uh, if I have a big case that fits in there, then so be it. But I, I'm trying to save it for uh, smaller cases. You can see my cases are separated now. They were probably together before, but I separated them just to try to alleviate some of the gap. So I also want to tell you guys, in this situation right here, see this gap right here? It's going to cause a problem. So in my head, while I'm selecting, I need a case that is going to come into this gap, but mainly rest on this. So even if it's two cases, let's say I get more cans. I put one can here, and I'm going to put one can here, and I'm going to have that can hanging off a little bit to help alleviate the uh, gap. And if I'm real lucky, I'm going to get it to equal this. I'm going to get it to be level, and then I could tie in the two sides together. But guys, when I get a gap like this, I'm always thinking I need to alleviate, alle I need to cover at least half of that gap with the next case that's going to be there. And I think I put a pasta on there, that a long pasta box that took care of that gap completely. All right, guys, this is uh, one of our Discord members. Uh, you know, I, I saw that you took your picture from inside the rack, so my guess is you're not allowed to take pictures at your warehouse, but I really appreciate you doing it because... We always get people that question the small case bases, which someone just actually, now that I think about it, I need to get out a video to some, uh, my small case base video uh, to someone that posted it. But guys, let's go down here. So when you have smaller cases like this, this, this was done nice. Now we got slip sheets in here. That's fine, guys. If you want to use slip sheets, use slip sheets. It's just going to make that base a little bit more solid. But see how we, the bigger of the cases go on the corner still, no matter where you are in the warehouse. The bigger of the cases we get a lot of salad dressings we're forming a corner uh okay it looks like like an a1 sauce or something on the corner you form a corner out of it you know i like it guys this guys always remember i just even though he didn't uh, this person uh, definitely did not do it but these salad dressings that are open on one side don't ever stick them on a corner like this one here don't ever see how the open is facing in. Always face the open side facing in so you have your strong box on the outside. Don't ever flip this around and have those the open side facing out. Uh, but guys, just high corner, low inside. We, we, even with the small cases, you keep the same rolls. High corner, low inside. The biggest of the cases go on the corners facing in if you can. And you're keeping all your small cases in the corner. It takes, guys, and this is the thing though, this person, okay, so after our small case base, this should have took 10 minutes at, at, at most. This should have took 10 minutes to throw. This probably took 20, 20 minutes, okay? So sometimes you might take a little extra time on your base when you have small cases, but then when you get to this, you're flying through it. If you don't take a lot of time on here, guess what? You're just going to be messing with it later up here. I don't, I don't get what people don't understand about that. When I see people rush through their base and it's all over the place, you got like 18 different layers and different levels. Well, what the hell do you think is going to happen later on in your order? You're just going to be messing with all the bigger boxes because you have nowhere to put them. But when you take the time here, you make up the time here. If you don't take the time here, then you're not even going to be close, guys. You're not even going to be close to making your times on this order.
All right, so these next three pictures are all the same person. Uh, this person's been posting a lot of pictures lately, and I really appreciate it, guys. I really appreciate when people that can build are still taking the time out of their day to take pictures and come over on Discord and post their works, or their work, okay? I, you know, we're glad to see your work because it helps as a learning tool. Guys, right here, you know, we're, obviously our base is going to be nice and level, but look at this. Nice big cases on the corner. See how we call them stacked? We didn't hurt, so things that 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 tie-in was just not working. Okay, so this here, see how we got two different layers right here. We got the our, our arm and hammers a little higher than the Lysol. So if we turn these cans in, that means that we're going to have a can that's mainly probably 50-50 on the Lysol in this arm and hammer. So it's going to get a rock going. Okay, and then we're going to have this little gap right here, which we're not going to be able to put anything in. The goal is to keep cases level. So this person might have put this case this way facing in and not, that's not gonna work because my case isn't level. So they just kept going the same direction. The same thing I just said on my order. When things don't work, just keep going in the same direction until it works. Tying in, bringing cases in. Now we got two cases, we're gonna go back. I mean, this all the way on the corner guys and, and then all the lighter cases or the smaller cases in the middle. I mean, just very well done. Let's click right through the next three of these. Uh, this one here. So I did post this person's uh, work last week. And you can see the similarities, guys. What, what, what do we got? The same thing. Say, I told you, this is how I build. See how we're not afraid to call them stack, guys? When you keep cases facing towards the middle with that nice skinny column, like I preach on this channel every day, you get a strong palate. Don't, guys, when you have a mixture of cases like this, don't be afraid to call them stack and wrap when needed. Perfectly done. We wrapped around the middle. This person probably got wrap machines at their warehouse. Uh, just a great looking palette. Thank you for posting. Let's look at your last picture. All right, guys, this one right here, same thing. We got high corner, or, yeah, high corner, low inside. You know, we got a slight rock, nothing major. We got two light cases the same. Keeping our corner higher, Sunny D's in the middle. I call them, stack them in the middle as well. Keeping the big cases on the outside. You can get away with column stacking as long as you keep your thicker, bigger cases on the outside. I don't like it. <laughs> I, I it, it works. I mean, we only have a couple granolas on top and some uh, ramen. It's it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, me personally, I like I just said earlier, uh, cans is like if I have to wedge something, uh, I just I just wouldn't have done it. I, so in my guys, so in my opinion, this is fine because there's not a lot of weight on it. But in the same thing, I always say, if it don't fit, don't force it. And if you can't get a case to fit uh, upright, then it doesn't fit, in my opinion. But once again, this is still fine. But yeah, absolutely, I love it. I mean, it's it's great. Nice and tied in. Once again, we wrapped. Guys, when you have to call them stack, just wrap. And look, right, right around the middle. If you have wrap machines, don't go crazy with it. Right around the middle and be on with it. But, uh, great looking work, and please keep posting your work. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for posting your work over on Discord. Like I said, if you're not a member, please uh, click that link. Guys, every video is just little tips. That's all it is, guys. It's, it's just little tips to help you. Every time I talk on a Discord Friday, hopefully I am going to point out something that you're struggling with, and it's going to help you along your journey to becoming a better selector and getting more money by incentive or whatever it is that you're looking to do. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.